Hey everybody, welcome back to Below Average Gaming. This is a hybrid and we're playing Game of Thrones from Telltale. So far it's been awesome so far. I've been doing every mistake I think I can possibly make. Like a retard, but hey, it's all good. <laughs> now let's get let's continue where we left off. So we had our friend killed and then we told some dude that we can't trust about our mission and I just think that we messed up big time with those decisions because I was a damn fool but we'll see what, we'll see what happens. It's the Fosters. So last time we left off where I was going to go to the wall. Our character was going to go to the wall. Because his uncle thought it was the best thing to do. So Let's go to the wall. Himself. I don't like this game anymore. Maybe something happened to him. Ethan's fine. He's just forgotten this is a game. You found me. Well done, Ryan. Don't worry. It's just a game, Ryan. Stupid game. I don't like it. I was worried you were gone. Let's make him a good brother. Find you again. I'm right here, and I promise. I'm not going anywhere. I wish Mira was here. And Asha. And... And Roderick. I do too. But Mira's in King's Landing and... Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe, I promise you. No, she's not. <laughs> Nobody's safe in King's Landing. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. I'll miss Gareth. He was nice. I don't know what he did to get sent away like that. He let me ride one of his pigs once. It was fun. He'll be fine. Garrett is smart. No one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Roiland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Roiland for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? <laughs> Challenge accepted. Let's fight. <laughs> Sir Roiland forgets himself. He doesn't know me or, or what I'm capable of. What does Milksop mean? I don't know. But I know it's not good. Ethan, you should let Sir Roiland teach you how to wield a sword. Like, like a man. He taught Roderick and Asher and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. Oh. A lord should know how to fight. <laughs> Do you remember when we were younger? When we all used to play here? You, me, Roderick, Asher. We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah. Where was I? You weren't born yet. We had so much fun. But then, well, then everything changed. We all grew up. Roderick became so serious. The Lord in training. We never smiled anymore. And Asha. Asha just got angry at everything. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. I know a Lord has many responsibilities, but you don't need to be like them. I promise I won't change. Good, because I'd rather have a brother than a Lord. I'll have to have both, I'm afraid. Since you're the new lord, you can do anything you want. I suppose. Everyone will have to do as you say. 
Be a good lord. I can have all the sweets I want. If only it were that simple. It would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. As many as you'd like, yes. Really? Of course. Why not? I thought I was just joking around. <laughs> you gonna get, get mad. You're needed in the great hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. What's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived, unannounced and certainly unexpected. He's come demanding justice. Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. If I were Lord, I would command Ethan to stay with his family. Lord Whitehill is a mean old man anyways. Fine. If that's what's required of me. Very well then. It's my duty. I can still be a good brother, but I still have responsibilities and duties. I have hero's duty. <laughs> They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here? The business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I Damn. suppose. Damn. Is. Was. It I makes had no my difference. TV on. You're probably going to hear echo. In the Shit. Wrong. So don't give Whoops. him any satisfaction. Out there, you were decisive and firm. Now do it again with these bastards. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. I can handle Lord Whitehill. Well said, my lord. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men, and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men rule over. Bastard, let's Lord dance. Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house, but to his family it's still a loss. My only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. I've been waiting for this day all my life. The Foresters finally get their due. I may be young, but I'm not so easily fooled. They're trying to rile me, but it won't work. Young? You are that boy. Too young to know when you're in over your head. And no bread and salt. What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur. No courtesies. I should have expected as much. Bloody foresters. Calm yourself, old man. You little fuck! That's how you talk to a lord! You foresters have shit on us. You're for fucking generations. shitting on me right now, well, motherfucker! Now the Starks are no longer around <laughs> to have your back, are they? We're the power in the north now. Roose Bolton is the warden of the north. Aye. And we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. Lord Ethan, you're losing control of this. That's enough, Lord Whitehill. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business, keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said, when your man attacked us for no reason. Oh, yeah, we also killed that other guy. Attacked for no reason. 
Garrod was only defending himself. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? He acted in your name. And you are the lord of this house. We lost people too, Lord Whitehill. Your men murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. The soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the this fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? I took care of it. He received his punishment and it's done. He's gone. What? Gone? That was my justice to deliver, boy, and you denied me of it. I'm not leaving. Motherfucker, dude. Justice. <laughs> now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roose Bolton. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? I mean no disrespect to you, my lady, considering your losses and all. But this... this is not over! It's over when my son says it is. Thank you for coming, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, Fuck then I trust off. you can find the door. The door hit you on the way out, motherfucker. That lad may be lord of this house. But Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven letting him know a forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. Do as you like, Lord Whitehill. So, did I do good? <laughs> did that go well? Oh, if I entered diplomacy. <laughs> Shit. I was wrong about your son, my lady. He stood up to him like a true lord. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. Dun dun dun! Your sister can help us. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay, <coughs> if it's presented to her as it should be. Marjorie Tyrell. She's hot. I love her. Love Marjorie Tyrell. Letter. Father. Much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and Mother could come, although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you, and I look forward to the day you can. It was very kind thing. of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. It once belonged to Lady Elena. Asha sent me this coin to remember him. What a strange place, Essos. Ethan made this for me. I sure look cool, man, with that fucking axe and shit and his beard. I don't know, he looked cool. I wonder what he did. Wonders made by man by Lomas Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. I hope to see them all someday.
King's Landing. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. The Raven Letter. It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope, and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Yes. <laughs> Come in. <clears throat> One moment. Oh, she's gonna get stabbed. Oh, sorry, milady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. No, it's fine. Come in. He's gonna try and kill you, dude. How did I do that? I don't know, he's just gonna do something. Begging your pardon, lady, but are you alright? If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. I'm fine, thank you. Of course, my lady. Oh, I should have talked to Please him, maybe later he'll lady save Marjorie me or something. Will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. <clears throat> Damn it. I just keep making the wrong mistakes, wrong choices. You work for Lady Marjorie? Talk to him. I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. I'm her handmaiden. That's what I thought. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei? That bitch. <laughs> they appeared to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but it was definitely an argument. Why are you telling me this? I heard them arguing about House Forrester and- House Forrester? I thought you'd like to know. Forgive me if I was mistaken. Thank you. I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. Most people don't tend to notice a cold boy. Not in King's Landing, with so many lords and ladies about. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. Good night, milady. Ah, he should have been my friend. <laughs> Damn it. Lady Marjorie, her face looks you're like early. A snake. What the hell? I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Why do you make Come, her look like that? there's something we must discuss. Dun dun dun! All right, we're gonna end it here and then restart it. Thanks for watching.